The story is number 64. Trustworthiness proven. As a man was walking down the street and was passing by the open window of a nearby house, he happened to overhear the people inside gossiping about him. The trouble with him is he's got a short fuse and he's prone to violence, said one. Oh my, said another. The man burst into the house and yelled, What do you mean I have a short fuse and I'm violent? Says who? Then he proceeded to whack everybody there on the head. That settled the matter. Everyone in the room saw that he lived fully up to his reputation. When a friend repays the money you lent him is the moment when any doubts you may have had about his promise are removed. And you know he is as good as his word. In the same way, the moment you are granted complete fulfillment by Amida is when all doubt about Amida's vow is swept away. Okay, very good. <laughs> it's a short story from You Are Born for a Reason. The real purpose of life. And, you know, Buddhism teaches us that life has a definite purpose that can be accomplished in this life. And that purpose is to experience happiness that holds us fast, never to abandon us. In other words, lasting happiness, uh, true happiness. And yeah, so we learn about that. And the process is we need to gain uh, complete self-knowledge. Because we are in the dark about who we truly are, we also miss out on this true happiness. So that's why listening to Buddhism becomes crucial. Uh, the more we listen to Buddhism, which acts like a mirror, this mirror of Buddhism is reflecting our image. So the more we listen, it's like the closer we are walking to this mirror, our image reflected in the mirror becomes more and more clear. So we are approaching this true happiness. But until we get there, so of course we will have doubts. Um, yeah, just like in the story we read here, it says, when a friend borrows money from you and promises, oh, I will return it by the end of the year. So maybe like right now it's June, July is coming fast. We're like, what if he doesn't return my money? You know, the doubts naturally will arise. And as months pass, we get into September, October, November. The longer time passes, the more we start doubting. What if he doesn't pay my money back? Yeah, but if the promise was he will return my money by the end of the year, that means December 31st. And he comes on December 31st to return the money. As soon as I get my money back, instantly all the doubts that um, were crossing my head, they all disappear at once. Yeah, because I received the money uh, in full. But until this happens, it's very natural. The doubts will be there. Yeah. So another example they gave is, you know, some people have kind of a bad reputation that, you know, they're short tempered, they have a short fuse, but they themselves don't have awareness of that. That's why they get angry when someone tells them, oh, I think you're short tempered. They're like, no, I'm not short tempered. <laughs> they want to deny it. Um, but they don't accept it because usually they don't believe that's how they are. They don't think about who they are. Usually their eyes are turning outwardly, so they don't have much self-knowledge. So if someone else tells them, oh, I think you have this flaw, usually they don't listen or they, they're not open to it. Consider that maybe that's true. Immediately they want to reject it. So in that story, the guy who was accused of having a short fuse, people were gossiping about him and, you know, he... He went in and burst into the house and, and actually lived up to his reputation. He he expressed his anger and whacked everyone on the head. 
So trustworthiness got proven in this way. This is a kind of a negative example, but but when that happens, people's doubt disappears. Yeah. So it's all about um, experience. There is a wide gap between the theories and experience. So that's why in Buddhism, it's called gyogaku, which means we need to learn with our feet, not with our head. We need to move our feet and our body and put into action what we learn. And then its veracity, truthfulness will be revealed to us. So good job, everyone, for being here, practicing together. And today we will have Purpose Lab at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And have a wonderful Friday. Bye. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you, Richie. Thank you for sharing this screen. Bye. Bye.